bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. It's a rainy day at Our Lady of Solids, uh, but not outside in real life. So if you hear a bit of my fan going on, that is, that's just, it's hot here. It is hot, and I am feeling the pressure of this hospital needing a lot of work. And I believe I titled the last the last episode, I was like, I titled it, I need help. And you guys came through hard. You really did. It was very amazing uh, how much help you uh, gave me. And so there's a couple of things we're going to affect today in terms of that change, uh, in terms of those tips. Um, so right now I'm, see I'm looking at my uh, radiology wing and it's fully staffed out, except for, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. It's not staffed here. This one is not staffed. Missing staff. Whoops. Okay, so let's get a cardiologist in here. Uh, for Oh, so wait, is this part of... Who's... Where is this? Uh, is this part of the... No, you do need a cardiography unit here. Okay, so, we, so we'll put somebody in here. Let's put a 34. I guess we'll reveal the things. I did get clowned on because apparently I hired a, a, a night owl for the morning. Uh, so I didn't want to, I shouldn't have done that, but we'll hire this person here for that. That feels pretty good. And then, um, now it's fully staffed. It also is not really being, uh, overwhelmed. It's doing fine. Uh, cardiology, the whole thing is being overwhelmed. I mean, and again, not fully overwhelmed. We've got two, uh, f four doctors total, two in the evening, two in the afternoon. We've got three here, but however, a lot of them tend to collapse. So I think that what today is all about is getting that third floor in place. And then we can move, we can put elevators here. So that's going to increase our efficiency of our hospital here. And then uh, that's going to free up this room and this room. So we have two more doctor's rooms. And I think we can move all this stuff here and have a bunch more doctor's rooms as well. The real question becomes, uh, I guess this is good radiology stuff. This is good. There's lots of room down here, so it could be more radiology. Uh, I think that's probably for the best. That's probably a good idea uh, to make a huge radiology department. However, my labs, I was going to move them up here on the second floor to this space, which does seem to be not as big as I think it is. Like, that's actually a fairly small lab. Very large, whatever this is, lab. This lab is still very large. So uh, this floor isn't necessarily an improvement. It feels a bit better. It feels a little more closed off than this. It's just hard to tell. Uh, and then this frees up all this room, and this could be a bunch more doctor's offices. So that's kind of the dream right now. The dream goal is to uh, move them upstairs. Uh, I'm just not sure if this is the right upstairs to move them to. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, we got a patient collapsing. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look at our patient collapsing. Christopher Allen, hospitalized, collapsing. He's got... He's not being touched by me. The last person I did, it didn't really work. I wasn't very good at it. Oh, he's a factory worker. Poor guy. Is that bad? I don't know. It's not bad to be a factory worker. I'm just saying, like, it's not... Uh, you know, he's... I understand why it's collapsing. I, I understand why he's got this uh, spleen rupture, which needs to get dealt with. Uh, Four hidden symptoms. That's the problem, too. He's got some hidden symptoms. Palp... Palp... Palpitations. Palpitations, of course. Uh, he's getting dealt with. I think he's un... Yeah, he's fine. He's, he's not going to collapse. He's uncollapsing. I, I feel confident about that. Now, how is my hospital doing? <gasps> we actually have some empty beds. we got three empty beds here. And what? Oh, a whole bunch of empty beds in the regular wing. So that's great. That is great to know uh, that this is working. And surgery does seem to be flowing, but it goes one, two, one, two. So I'm going to try something here that somebody showed me, which is you can go through your doctors. We have four doctors during the day two of which are surgeons. So we click on her, surgery. We click on her during the day, surgery. Okay, great. Not allowed to do surgery. A lot to do anesthetology. Okay, uh, so if I go here and I turn off diagnostics, allowed roles. So these two, I am turning off diagnostics. They're only allowed to do surgery. So we're gonna see if that helps get to that fabled double Surgery. I just want to see both surgery wings going. You know what I mean? Um, I want to see them both going at the same time. Oh no, Thomas Brown also collapsing. That's okay. I believe in you. I believe in your ability to not to continue to not collapse. Okay, so it's been it's been cleaned. This person is done and now stitched up. Another person is collapsing. Lots of collapse today. And oh boy. Okay, things are going uh, 
uh, quite bad. And I'm not seeing another patient coming in here for surgery. Uh, they're scrubbing up. See what I'm talking about? It goes one, then the other, one, then the other. So they're cleaning in here, which is good. But when they're done cleaning, I'm not quite seeing... Oh, James Hall. Okay. Everybody's collapsing right now. This is not great. Uh, he's getting dealt with. He's getting this treatment scheduled, waiting for a free operation room. Like, that's probably why they're collapsing, is because they're not getting, you know, surgerized fast enough. Oh. Hang on. Uh-oh. Okay. So that's quicker. That is quicker. They only, they just finished, and there's another person already on the table. Uh, I don't know if that was by my help here. Okay, go to. The lounge is full. Visiting Jessica Jones. Leaving after visit. Oh, the lounge. I see. Oh, I see. So this person is visiting Jane Wright. Visiting, visiting, visiting. I mean, I'm sorry I don't have a bigger lounge. What do you want from me? What I could consider doing is moving the labs up another floor. And I could consider making this area uh, either a lounge or a very large doctor's office. And if I did that, that would give me another lounge space right here. I could turn this into a lounge, as well as this having this lounge here. We could have a couple of lounges. Then there could be a whole pile of doctors in here doing surgery uh, or, or being ready to do surgeries. So that's definitely something to think about. Now, uh, when we get going on our third floor, I also want to think about making little rooms like this. I really like this kind of ward. Um, and maybe we can, I might even copy this, perhaps. Perhaps I might even copy this. Uh, that's how I talk now. You just have to deal with it. So what are we dealing with here as far as size? H, nope, regular ward, okay. So it's a regular ward that is 14 by 18. Each one of these rooms is five by four, which is uh, fairly large, actually. Because, I mean, these are only five by five, I think. Oh, five by six. Okay, I mean, okay, well, all these small boys here are five by uh, six as well. Never mind. Okay, no, it's, these are the small boys. Four by six. So these are only slightly larger than these private rooms here, which look quite nice. They might be quite expensive, though, too, but... Uh, I do like it. And then maybe we could uh, think about turning this into like a bathroom area. So what I'm getting at is I want to make more of these and not this. <laughs> this this is a half of a mess. This is a half a whole mess. All right, so we're going to get going with our third floor here, and we're going to do some design work, and then we're going to lay in a, an elevator here, which I think I might even do. I might pause, get the third floor, because all this is going to get wrecked. Yeah, except for, what are you waiting for? Because I'm, I'm about to sell all that off and destroy it all by accident. So I need to know. Surgery department lounge is full. Yeah, so I the lounge is apparently filling up now. Interesting. That's not, I have not seen that error before. And I wonder if it's because these people aren't coming to visit. Are any patients coming to visit? Let's speed it up a little bit here. We've got a patient getting a soda pop and going away. What are these people? They're waiting for their, their friends. There's something wrong with these with this lounge. I'm getting a lot of lounge full warnings. And a patient collapse, of course. Okay, I'm getting a lot of lounge full warnings, and these people are not being visited by their patients. Or their family members, I guess. Oh my goodness, a patient died. I was not paying attention, but a patient has died. Okay, get out of here. Patient died. <gasps> oh no. Deceased. Waiting for a morgue bed. Available examinations. Autopsy time. Not that I want to, but I do want to. Oh, what well, he was going to be a big payday too. Twenty five hundred. Now, now again, not that that's important, but he just couldn't survive. Oh, that is a shame. That is a real bummer. All right, let's get uh, let's get old James Hall off to the morgue. Come on, James. Yeah, go pick up. Oh, oh, oh! I can't slow time down. I always press the wrong button. All right, here comes uh, James. This is our first time we're seeing the pathology wing in full uh, action. So they come in through here. They're going on the morgue table, and then hopefully they're going to get an autopsy done. New patient of pathology. But, uh, you can send the body to funerary services or perform an autopsy to learn what went wrong. Uncover the remaining symptoms and gain experience points and money in the process. Yeah, yeah, of course we're doing that. 
Thank you. An autopsy is in process. Let's take a look. Who's our staff? Wow, we have a real skeleton staff on. <laughs> you get it? You know what I mean? Skeleton staff. And we have no janitors in here. That's okay. We don't need assigned janitors. All right. So the dead body is being transferred by Kate Young and Peter Hall. Peter Hall. Isn't that like a famous person? I think Peter Hall is like a celebrity. All right. Begin the autopsy, Peter Hall. Slice the body to pieces. I don't know how an autopsy. I don't think you'd slice the body to ribbons in an autopsy. But you're going to go. Oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. We got 1200 bucks for that. All right. I hope more of my patients die. <laughs> okay. Did I learn anything from that, though? Is it done? Are we done learning? I'm speeding up time so we can, like, learn something here. He stitched him back up perfectly. And, uh... Autopsy finished. Okay. You can now send the bodies uh, to funeral services using a button in the patient card. Okay. Uh, we don't want to put them in the locker there to store them up? All right. So send body to funerary services. Oh, what a shame. Oh, he just disappears. I thought it, like a little hearse would come up. Okay. So that's what happens when you fail at this game. All right. And I, it doesn't tell me what we learned, but I assume we learned some things. Now... I'm looking at my finances here, and I have made decent money. In fact, I'm staring down the barrel of 31,000 hospital doubloons, or injury uh, bucks. So let's spend some of those injury bucks here, and uh, maybe let's sell all this stuff. Off. Actually, I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to play some, uh, some elevators here and hope for the best. So wait, are you okay? Going home. You seem bummed. You seem sad. Is, is it your man bun? Is that why you're so sad? <laughs> All right, cardiology. We need to get cardiology up and running. Uh, and to do that, we're going to need two surgery wings. I'm going to copy a lot of this stuff up there, but uh, mainly I just want to get the shape. Uh, so the first things first, let's get ourselves a elevator, which is here. There it is. Found it. I found it. Now, we can't quite... I guess I need to... Oh, uh, I need to get rid of stuff first. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, let's sell some stuff off here. The most interesting part of solid content, you're like, yeah, yeah, let's watch them sell this stuff. Here are all the, like, dingling of the coins as I make my money back. I make my measly monies. Now, I kind of wanted to have a closet or something there, I think. That was my whole thing. Okay, how do we get this person... What's going on here? Okay, can you... There we go. You're done using that. There we are. All right, we can put our elevator in, and uh, I think I want to leave, like, an alcove next to it. The reason for that is... There we go. That's looking good. Uh, the reason for that alcove is because there's a window there, and I'd like there to be a window on the second floor, and because see how it gets a little more narrow in that area there? Okay, good. So we've got that sorted out. And uh, this is our elevator uh, up to the up to all the other floors. So we now have a more efficient layout here. And all of this gobbledygook is going to get uh, fixed because that was the waiting room for a cardiology department. But that's okay because the cardiology department, before this day begins, uh, is going to happen here on the third floor. Let's see how much money this costs, though. That's the real thing. Build a foundation. Add a new floor. Copy tiles from the top floor. Copy walls from the top floor. No. Don't want to do that, but I'll copy some... I'll copy... The tiles, I guess. I don't know what that means. Oh, I see. Can I control Z? No. Okay, so it did all... Th that's going to be kind of annoying to imagine. I can't see the space if I'm doing all this uh, crap. Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I, sh I mean, I should have known exactly what that was going to mean. Remove objects. Nope. Uh, bulldoze walls and objects. Nope. Okay. Now, it didn't seem... It only cost me, like, 1,000 doubloons. Or I guess that was 10,000? Oh, I have 300,000 hospital bucks. Oh, I am hospital rich. That's awesome. 
Now, what I was thinking is that maybe, just maybe, this third floor now has, like, a patio on top of it. Or this kind of goes, this gets recessed another piece. That could look kind of cool, too, if it just starts to go back in towards this, the top. And now we have elevators and banks of elevators here. And we need to decide uh, what the plan is for uh, the cardiology wing. So let's get started right away, I think, with um, cardiology offices, which are like, how big are these guys? These guys are six by six. Six by seven. These buildings are massive. We don't need that. We need like a six by... We'll do a six by six. We'll do six by sixes. Oh, that's six by eight. Good Lord. So why is that? Uh, cardiology. Do they just need more stuff in their office? Or is it because I placed... I think it's just because I placed the office. All right, fine. Let's have at least three of those large offices. I've come around to on it. All right, I've, I'm into it now. Uh, so we obviously need a waiting room, and if this is the cardiology wing, we need to figure that out uh, here together. So we're going to do like, so what is it, 8 by 6 uh, So that's 8 by 6 or we could go like this, 6 by 8 and then what do we have here, 8 by 8 So that means we need a tiny hallway uh, to make that kind of work, which I don't, if I'm being honest, I don't care for. Uh, so let's go, no, no, no. And let's go cardiology office, uh, eight, eight by six, eight by six here. Now, how much does, room does this leave? Eight, six by one. That's massive. This is a massive space. So maybe this is, maybe we copy the, that, that wing. Maybe this is a, a really cool, like situation like this. Uh, we could copy that exact shape and call this our uh, regular ward, which was, I believe, it came up to about uh, 14 by 18 here. Maybe we should have copied the walls up because that would at least have given us something to work with. Like we would get started and be like, okay, here's what we're dealing with. So that is six long. See, now this feels a bit better. So if we have, let's say we have our diagnostics unit uh, down a hallway there. So this could be, this is our hallway. Uh, where's the button for hallway? Corridor. I forgot that it was called corridor and not hallway. Okay, fair enough. So four and four. Let's just like bring it all the way down just to kind of get to know the space. Now, what are we dealing with here? This is five. So we could do five by sixes here and have slightly, or it's five by sevens even, like have a slightly uh, more, like a calmer wing here. So if you come up, up this elevator here, the first thing you're going to do is see a ward. I guess that's okay. Let's think about this. If we had a corridor here, one, two, three, four. All right, and then we have a corridor, whoops, here like so. Uh, actually, let's just carry this one on so we don't cause any issues with my heart. You know, not you know, uh, not being able to count. Okay, there we go. Four. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is looking good. Okay. So. If I continue this being the core, and I kind of like that. I like that every you go to the top of the elevator, it's the same every time, and you kind of look at where you're going. So then, if I do what I normally do, I could have this whole area here. Maybe this could all be lab space, and this could be, like I said, this would be something else. So uh, we can move the doctors over here and get more visiting room. So general surgery will be just a massive department here. So up here, we could have, we could move our labs up onto this. So this area and over is all gonna be our cardio uh, area. So on this first floor here, give me an idea. Nope, okay, we're making it up. All right, so you're gonna wanna come in and you're gonna wanna see a reception and a waiting room. All right, so the waiting room is massive. That's a nine, interesting. Okay, good to know. So this corridor could continue if the door opens here, we've got a massive amount of space here, uh, which could actually make for a good uh, wing. Cardiology, nurse's station, nurse's regular ward, four by six. So you could come in the door and then that leaves one, two, three. Yeah, that leaves a hallway of three. So uh, let's go back into our planning here. 
So here's what I'm talking about. So this could be our high dependency ward because then you've got a room of like six. So that's like all of the beds. But then to add on to that, there you go. You've got all of this. So that could all be even high dependency ward. Look at that. So our corridor is right here. One, two, three, four. So we're just seeing right now. This is just the design process of like laying things out and being like, does this work at all? Or is this dumb? Okay, let's come across here and delete that part. Oh, I thought that would, okay. I mean, I thought, honestly, I did, I really did think that that was gonna be, you know, uh, letting me do that. Okay, there we go. So there's kind of our corridor, our central corridor. So that gives us a giant uh, ward right there. All of this lab space here. Uh, we could also bring that. Uh, we can bring that flush with that wall there. Okay, so massive, massive ward. I mean, again, we're probably going to find that it's not that massive. That's going to hold, you know, a couple, like maybe eight or nine beds. Okay, high diagnostics there. Then we have our regular ward is down here. That feels okay. It feels like you can get to them both. And then all of this area here it will need to be the doctor's quarters. <laughs> quarters, you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to have the reception like here. What was the reception down here? What size is that? You can have a pretty small reception, four by six. Let's go a little bigger. Let's have a reception that's like something like this, four by six. And then we can have a waiting room. Ooh, hello. Hello, bonjour. Okay, because remember, folks, you heard it here first, folks. There's going to be a wall right there across all of that. So you're coming in and you say hi here, and then you can go wait back here, which might even need to be bigger, to be honest with you. Okay, now cardiology offices, like I said, these things are uh, big boys. So these were six by eight. So let's, let's see what six by eight looks like. All right, now if I shrink Let's let's reimagine the waiting room and reception. Let's reimagine that the waiting room, the reception is now six by four, and that the waiting room matches this, like so. Again, wall right there. Remember, don't forget that part. Don't forget the wall part. Now we need probably like a bunch of cardiology offices. Come on. So six by eight, six by eight leaves one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's probably the size of a decent one of these washrooms, three by six. So this is three by eight, good. Okay, so we can get like a decent sized washroom in there or maybe even two uh, small washrooms. Let's see what that looks like. Four, four, uh, how many? You could probably get two, a stall, uh, two stalls in there. We have three in here, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sick. So door and door, and then one, two, three. It's pretty, it's pretty cramped quarters. So we might want to make just one, like a bigger washroom, but we'll see, we'll see, because we'll probably get some areas for other washrooms eventually as well. So that's gonna have, this is basically the cardiology department is now kind of up and running in a way. Then uh, we're gonna need cardiology units, sonography units, nurses stations, all the usual stuff. Um, we could have the nurses station right here. Now, what is this room? This is five by one. And these cardiology offices, I believe, I've made them quite small, four by six. So we could do five by fives in here. Cardiography unit. Five by five, two of those. Then we go uh, stenography, stenography. Five by five, five by four. Or we go, ugh, I just want it to line up like that. So this one's like a slightly smaller one. And that's fine. This is like, oh, you gotta go to the small room. And they're like, I don't wanna go to the small room. Okay, uh, this whole ward might have to change. Now we could get our surgery departments up there. So what's our surgery? Uh, the operating room is a six by 12, if I wanna copy it over. Uh, 12, six by 12, and a six by 12. Now. How do we feel about that? I feel dumb about the about how much room they take up uh, and how small the hallway is at the same time. What's this? 14. 
So not, that's not quite useful. Uh, maybe they can go elsewhere. So you've got all the units here. It just feels like this should probably be where surgery happens. Because then we're going to get the lounges and the doctor's offices here. We probably want the nurses up in this area here. And if they were, if the nurses were near the operating theater, le théâtre de les opérations, we what about two seven by twelves? Hear me out. Corridor that's still nice and four, and our operating rooms. What kind of whoa? What kind of walls are we using there? Yeah, they were they're fairly closed off. Okay, so that kind of works to be honest, because you could have two doors and two doors. Uh, is that two and two? Corridor, one, two, one, two. Yeah, yeah, okay, guys, 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 this is working. This is working. All right, six by eight is that nurse's station. Where's another nurse's station here? We've got another one that's nine by six. So to me, that means it's doable. This is five by nine. Crap, 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 crap. A couple of five by nines. What if, hear me out, we have two nurses stations there, two five by nines. Okay, so we've got two nurses stations. Is that a waste? We could have a five by, I bet we could get a five by nine in there. I mean, there's so much stuff that goes into a good nurses station that I'm concerned that a five by nine is too small. Uh, maybe, just maybe, let's, let's, let's mess up the game a little bit. Let's mess, let's play with this. What is a good corridor? Four. That gives us this much room. We could have a ten by something or other. One, two, three, four. Ten by five nurses station. And then this corridor is massive. I don't know if that's a waste of space. That feels like it's not the most efficient use of space, but I'm just going to kind of take a look here and see what, it, what, we, what we feel like. So you come around here and there's like a nurse's desk, there's a nurse's desk counter thingy that goes all along like this. And then there's all their stuff packed into here and then plenty of room and then two doors center on into these operating rooms. Then you've got your high diagnostic ward here and your regular ward down here, which does have the nurses far away. But you know what? That's kind of life sometimes, folks. Sometimes you're gonna be far away and you just have to make the best of it. Okay, now, uh, next step. We could make this a slightly narrower hallway. Three, if we wanted to, how much room? Six, okay, no, that's fine. There's gonna be enough room for a bunch of rooms here and a bunch of rooms here, and there, our corridor continues on. So let's carry on this corridor here, four. Oh, wait, I got to carry it on to there. So this is the edge of this wing if we want it to be. We could add some more stuff in here, and maybe we should. We could also, one, two, three, have a narrow hallway in front of the reception area, and this keeps going on into the lounge. What if we did do that? I was saying it like I didn't believe it was a good idea, and now, to be honest with you, I kind of believe it's a good idea. Look at the size of these rooms! You could have an 8x10 lounge? And we still have uh, doctors, and uh, we can put in some more doctor's office in here. We can we can get a common room. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is going well. This is kind of still a small nurse area for what I'm planning on. And uh, this area we know is going to have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beds. So that's 10 beds. That's actually, that's not bad. I don't feel bad about that. This high diagnostics ward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So as much as I make fun of this diagnostics ward, 12 beds is still quite a lot of beds. I don't know if we're gonna get that kind of, that same kind of bed, bedery in this area. And this is actually a very large waiting room too. So let's expand this lounge into, into this a little bit. Where's the lounge? Let's expand the lounge out a little bit. And let's bring the uh, waiting room over. Massive waiting room. Just a massive waiting room. 
That's how I talk now. I apologize. You just have to deal with it. It is what it is. There we are. There's our... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Welcome to the new massive facility. So the waiting room. So if you end up going down this elevator, you're like, ah, oh, crap, I went to the wrong place. You can walk down here and you'll easily be able to find the massive waiting room uh, with our reception desk here. That's perfect. Okay, and uh, let's actually, let's bring forward our uh, reception area uh, just a little bit. So there's a bit of separation. So this, yeah, like I said, this feels more like a hallway, and then you're into your chairs and waiting room area here. We could have a door right here, a twofer, and then some more chairs along here, and maybe just a few chairs and some art or something there. Uh, we might not need that. That might That's a massive reception area, especially because, like, the reception area here is, is not nearly that big. This is a tiny reception area for general surgery. Excuse me, my stomach just growled a little bit there. I don't know if you guys heard that. If you did, that was horribly embarrassing. So what are we dealing with here? We're 13 and 10. So we can have a 6 by 10 and a 7 by 10. So the doctors should get a full on six by or seven by ten. So the on call room shall be seven by ten. Massive, massive. All right, the uh, common room is going to be also quite large. And the common room, normally the common room, I believe you place a restroom in it. So we'll have also a fairly comfortable sized restroom in here. That's actually something we should look at. I don't know if our restrooms. Uh, let's do just a small one. These restrooms might not be enough for the massive size of this thing. We could even put a small restroom in the high diagnostics ward. But that said, we should also get a uh, restroom in here. So let's put another big boy. Let's put in a three by six. I think that's going to be enough room. Let's expand this into... No, we'll keep two little washrooms. That's fine. I think that'll be fine. Or, hear me out, hear me out, we do uh, this, and then we turn this into a cleaning closet. A three-by-three three cleaning closet. Oh, folks, I don't know, that seems a bit small. All right, fine, this is going to be one single large, uh, single-person restroom. I feel good about it. And I don't mean single person, I mean single, like, gender. Single. Everybody just goes and uses that. All right, then we're going to have our cleaning closet here big old cleaning closet lots of cleaning and we have all this extra room here now we could get some extra regular wards we got two general surgery we probably need more nurses to be honest and maybe we need to move our washroom and this whole thing we're gonna move these over and i'm gonna get some more nurses in this up in this up in this place let's get a nine by six let's get a ten by six just because that seems like it that just seems like what you know that's the number i see the most we're going to go three there for the cleaning closet is going to be a little bigger. And what does that leave us with? We've got one seven by six remaining. Have we missed anything that's going to totally upend our plans here? We could get in another doctor, another office here. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. We could put another office in here because that is still close to the waiting room. So that's not a bad idea. Let's put one. In oh, crap. Diagnostic unit. We totally forgot we needed diagnostic units. Crud, crud, crud. I don't know if one is enough. This could cause problems. This could cause a bottleneck. We have enough for nurses. We've got one thing for doctors, which I think is similar to what we've got going on down here. Uh, and we have... have I keep talking like that. What is going on with me? I'm fine with it. Uh, we might need some more diagnostics is the only issue. So what we could do is put another diagnostics thing in here so what do we got here this is a a seven by six but what about hear me out a six by six and then another one here no incorrect don't six by six six by six two washrooms two big old washrooms now we could reinstate the cleaning closet idea here and just see if this is enough that's so small that really is quite small for a cleaning closet I think we're going to need more than that. Because, like, look, this one here, it does seem to keep things clean, though. It is fine. So I think that's going to work. All right. 
So here is our third floor um, wing. Our third floor cardiology department. This is looking really good. And this is going to allow us to bring all of this stuff up here and get rid of this uh, waiting room, of course. So let's actually delete that waiting room. And uh, what? Uh, so if this was just emerge, let's bring that corridor forward as it now is going to, in the future, it is going to be the rest of our diagnostics medicine area. That's coming up. But first, we must create a massive cardiology wing. I think this is a good setup. It is really hard to tell. But I'm going to do a little movie magic here, and we're going to get all these walls built up so we can start uh, laying in some uh, some rooms here. I think that's. I think we'll probably work on this one today, and uh, these two I'm going to print from the one below. I have a, I have some surgery wings already, and I have uh, a lot of this stuff has already kind of been designed, so it's going to be really easy to, to slap some of this up, and you might not even really want to see that. Now, uh, another thing I'm going to use a lot though when I'm doing this process. Thank you to Irrational Sense, one of the best people in the business out there for pointing out this friggin' button I didn't know about. So let's say you're placing an item and you're like, ah, where is that thing? I want I want this exact little table, but I can't find it. Here is the button. Select object for copying. And you can also hit the I for eyedropper. I, eyedropper, hover over it, bam. Now I can place another one. I cannot believe I didn't think to, to just look right here at this bottom toolbar. There's so many toolbars, I swear. Uh, I will get better at that. I'm seeing some dirty floors here. This might not be a big enough. To be honest, this is probably not a big enough closet either. So maybe what we need on this floor is to not worry about the closet. Let's make a nice big washroom so we can make it comfortable. All right. And let's find another spot for a janitor's closet. I think that's coming up. I think we're going to figure that out. We could actually put it out here. We could just put a giant. Oh, should we just have a big one? Should it be this big? In the middle of the building? I don't know. Let's bring the corridors out. All right. And uh, four. Yep. I mean, it's weird to have your janitor's closet so close to, like, all the chaos. Just, like, tagged on. I guess not. I guess I don't hate it. Okay, so that is sort of the general look that we're going for now. This is the plan. So let's toss in some walls with some movie magic and then let's do some designing. All right, so a little bit of magic later in terms of I just uh, cut forward in the video. And I've got a couple of the major, like the main rooms laid out a little bit here. So you come in uh, the main entrance here if you're going to use the bank of four elevators. And you're going to walk in here and you're going to see this massive reception wing this time, much bigger than uh, general surgery, but we're learning, we're learning. These hallways are actually quite big. I'm wonder starting to wonder if like my hospital is a little too wide wide open especially because like this lounge area is a little sparse the waiting room is massive so i mean i feel good about that though uh and then we have our um uh, diagnostic wings and we have our uh cardiology and so so sonography sonography and then we have three doctor's offices for doctorizing uh patients i think like that's that's gonna be enough i hope the surgery area, this stuff, all this stuff is going to have to wait till later. I think the thing that we want to do right now is at least get cardiology up and running. Uh, and so I'm going to move these people here uh, so they can at least get upstairs. So um, assign employee to workspace and you are our morning doctor. One, two, three. So you're being assigned to what's happening. Hang on, missing equipment. Hang on, we're not assigning you yet because I'm seeing something, some kind of error here. Missing equipment. Oh, I copied these over and they're just all missing. There you go. Okay, you're not missing stuff now. Okay, now let's move our people. All right, so uh, take uh, Lisa Martin here and assign her to... 
three. Assign her there. There we go. One, two. And let's go assign uh, this person here, Frank Clark, Dr. Frank, as we call him. And uh, let's go and assign uh, Thomas Miller, old Tommy boy. I hope you like the third floor, Tommy boy. I don't know why I'm being like creepy to him. <laughs> okay, uh, assign employee to workplace. All right, so we have our two doctors there. And again, we're making decent money, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab another, oh wow, Fraser, Dr. Fraser, look at this guy. What is he, he's got a long drive so he can be often late for work and a uh, good boss. Let's make Fraser, honestly, let's make Fraser the chief doctor. Oh, can we not? Why is it grayed out? It says he's be he would be a good boss. Doctor rating 50%. Oh, so he's like a horrible doctor, I guess? <laughs> okay, well. Anyway, he's going to be a bit late, but he's uh, he's our he's our new boss. The boss, the chief doctor in this area. Okay, so we've got all the doctors here, and I don't know, do we cardiology? Okay, those two are empty now, so this cardiology room, these rooms can go. There we are. And uh, yeah, we'll keep that waiting room up and running, but now we have an elevator in the third floor. We've got a whole bunch of uh, doctors' offices. Let's grab ourselves a... Uh, hang on. Cardiology. There we go. Let's grab ourselves a reception person. Karen. Wait, hang on. What do we got here? Fresh parent. Long commute. Rest levels decrease faster. I don't know if we... Ah, wait. If I don't hire Karen because she's a new parent, I'm pretty sure that's, like, illegal. We're hiring Frank. <laughs> but I guess okay nobody tell you know the government uh, that I did that alright he a hedonist good lord moves she's fast she's smart and a slow learner she's smart and a slow learner that's okay and uh, she takes twice as much time enjoying food I mean I don't know that's fine she's gonna be our night receptionist so I'm not too concerned about like oh what do I need there alright and let's get okay th those don't have assigned people this room, these rooms are missing equipment. Oh, I always miss the, what do you mean? I'm, I'm not missing a biohazard trash bin. It's right there. Whoops. Okay, it's right there. Oh, I just, it's probably, it's, yeah, it, like I, it's not placeable. There we go, okay. Uh, all right, so let's get a, uh, a heart monitor person, cardiologist. <laughs> Let's get Elizabeth here, and then let's get an evening one in the other room, just because why not? Uh, 41 fresh parents. Lots of fresh parents, which I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I want Judy. She's she's young, but she'll do. Uh, a USG specialist. We've got Susan here. She looks got some big old bags under her eyes, but like that, that makes sense. And she's an alcoholic. Why am I getting such bad staff members? Okay, Fraser. Let's put you in at night. I know what that is. Oh, no, that's the early bird. Okay, you're a day person. Fraser is our day person, and we have a night car, uh, U.S. geologist. Uh, what's this here? Clean feet. Hard worker. James. Let's get James in there. Great. So we have a whole bunch of staff. Those ones are going to go home. We've got our lounge. We've got this. Let's go ahead and, because this room is basically an exact copy, let's go ahead and uh, go into prefabs here and uh, copy slash create prefab. Let's just go ahead and bam, this is gonna be expensive, but it fits perfectly, so we're just gonna do it. And that, how much money is that gonna cost? It doesn't even say how much it's gonna cost. Uh, but this is gonna be our diagnostic wing. And that cost, you know what, it wasn't that bad. 33,000 doubloons. Not bad, not bad. All right, so we have this, these windows. I kind of want to change these windows back, though. And then I kind of want to change the color, I think. There we are. Eh, eh, there we go. I kind of want to change the color and make these uh, the walls and all that. Like, I kind of want to make them that pink heart color. So we know that we're in the heart uh, wing of the hospital. You know, pink for heart, pink for blood. 
Although that might be stressful for the patients to look at. Like, I don't know. I know that there's like this thing where some colors are like, it's like, oh, don't look at harsh yellows because they'll uh, like ruin your life or something. Um, and then like, don't study near green. <laughs> All right. I'm, I think I'm making that up. I'm not 100% sure. So I feel like this is a piece of wall that I just noticed. It shouldn't be there. There we go. There, that looks a little better. And then here is our diagnostic department. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so many beds. So many beds in there. So that's great. So this, this, the cardiology wing is coming along. We need a bunch of nurses. We don't have those yet. And we need to build a high dependency ward uh, up here as well. And I'm just wondering, like, what do prefabs tell us for HDUs? What does an HDU look like in... Uh, Oh, here's like one single one. I think that's what we should do is we should go down here. Okay, I think we can make one. I think we can make these. I know what we need is a modern hospital bed. I know we need a life monitor, an advanced life monitor. I know we need a bed socket. Well, we don't need a bed socket, but I like providing those. I know that that's an extra thing. And uh, what else does it need? I've seen people, yeah, we, we in the past, we put like a chair next to it. We can probably move all this over. Great, and a chair, and then like a, a thing, a bedside, you know, table thing. All right, and then we need a defibrillator water and a wall monitor. Oh, we could get a lot of beds in here. Are you kidding me right now with how many beds we could get in here? Uh, what if we did something like this, like a wall this so we're gonna have fancy wood with stripe i don't think we want that in here but what if we did something like this like a pink wall like so yeah okay let's do that and let's get like let's just mess it up with some some curtains maybe for privacy or some walls or like a bit of both maybe a little half wall half curtain privacy situation because I feel like that's all we... What are the prefabs? Like, again, I know you're not supposed to cheat. Like, go and look at the prefabs. But it's like, it does help me get a sense of what we're building here. So you want to see some materials around. Uh, some tables. Like generally, just stuff that looks like you could have people visit and stuff. But nothing other than that. Nothing too crazy. So let's just like, copy this out a bunch. Once we get an idea of how we want to separate the space. Whoa. Not like that. Just not just willy-nilly throwing walls down like a crazy person. Uh, maybe just like a... Oh, what about these st washroom walls? It's a little impersonal, perhaps. Perhaps. So I don't know if I'm 100% on board with that. Now I know there's like some... Uh, there's like a curtain somewhere. Do I have a curtain lying around? Here we go. I... Yes. Oh, that's so much better now that I know that exists. Irrational, you are the best. How about this? I think that looks better. I understand that the walls, putting in walls looks cool and actually ends up taking up less room. But this kind of, I kind of like this look. It looks more like classical. So copy, create a prefab here. Boom. Now, is that right? Do I need... Oh, yeah, because it, right, it takes up quite a lot of space. Oh, okay, we don't need the wall. Thank you very much. No thank you on the wall. Good. Can we not move that over? Yeah, okay, so that's right. Okay. So this way, we now have... Whoops. What was that? <laughs> there we go. This is what I'm talking about now. I'm going to have to get rid of some of those uh, windows, I guess. And then, can I fit one more in here? I could, provided, hang on, let's place it here and get rid of that wall. Well, we can't get rid of the wall because of the stuff. Okay, let's move the stuff first. Yeah, here we go. I mean, this is so many beds. This is a crazy amount of beds. We're going to get into this, into this ward. I have, de you can definitely feel the learning that gets done uh, when you're playing this game. Because now you're like, oh, now I can like, now I'm getting, I'm, I'm using up much less room to make way more beds. Look at how many beds that is. That's an insane amount of beds. Look at how I tried to shove beds into this area. This area is crazy. I mean, that area is, is the emerge, but 
yeah, no, this is this is working out way better than the other way. All right, so let's get rid of uh, where was that oh, window? That's not working. There we go. So this person gets a window. That's kind of nice. That's great for them. They're happy with that. And we're gonna copy. I wish I could just copy the items and not the whole wall. So let's do this here. Bring up this to find out what it's done wrong. Take away that window. Rotate our view a bit here and probably delete this bed. There we are. Now, isn't that just, isn't that just something else? The size of this cardio ward. Now we can put some things in the middle here to kind of give it a bit more clutter and let's get some items in there. But so far that's looking pretty good. Um, I kind of want to find the right kind of items. Like, we need some, like, in this area here, we need to get some, like, uh, like a food cart or something like that. Let's actually go down here, and then let's just use the old, this kind of business. Oh, I wish you could copy more than just the table, but that's all right. So if I put that, actually, if I put that here, like so... Then I go down here, hit the eye tool again, and like let's grab a couple of fun items that you might want. Holding down the control key so you're not taking just the table, you're taking the stuff on the table. Hit the eye key again. Let's bring up this this oxygen, put that in the corner. Yeah, I think that's the important thing to do right now is to fill this room up um, with not like clutter in a bad way, but clutter that kind of gives you a sense that this is a busy uh, hospital and there's a lot of stuff going on. Let's put this here. What, I can't put that there? What, I can't put that there? Come on. All right, that's fine. The defrib uh, makes more sense there anyway. And then we kind of need to get some stuff on the walls too. It's a very orange. It's very, yeah, red in here, which that can't be good for your heart to have such a red thing here. Okay, let's find some more uh, sweet, sweet items that we might want to put in here. I noticed there's a whole lab in the ICU, so that's not quite what we're looking for. We're looking more for... Actually, this whole area needs some more props as well. Yeah, we're looking more for prop-type, prop-based things. Um, perhaps a... Uh, where's, like, a food cart? Let's get one of those. Let's put that here. In the middle of the room and maybe a stretcher. I think we're going to need a lot of stretchers, actually, now that, I, now that I come to think of it. Wait, where'd all the stretchers go? Where's all my stretchers? Oh my goodness, my stretchers have gone... Oh, there's one. Relax. Whoops. Into the thing. There we go. Oh my goodness, what is happening? I, that thing. What is happening? I want this stretcher, please. <laughs> I wish to make more of those. <laughs> ah! Okay, it's right here. I just found it. That's weird. Okay, so the copy tool does seem to mostly work, but... There we go. Make sure that's like that. Maybe now let's see if it works. Weird. So you can't... That's weird. You can't copy stretchers with that tool. That seems to be... I, I bet that's mostly a bug, to be, to be honest. Okay, so most of this room is looking nice. I think I might change the floors. I don't know if you, yeah, if you look at this, the floors kind of have this weird soft, like, heaven vibe, which is a little rowdy for this for this floor. <laughs> I think we're gonna go back to the, I think we're gonna go back to this floor here because things are looking, yeah, it's like a little too touched by an angel, which if you're going to get your heart worked on, you definitely don't want to see a floor that kind of makes you feel like you're already moving into the great beyond. You're going to want to see a floor that's like a hospital. There, just some regular old tile. And the lights are out. Okay, let's uh, speed up time and head on to more... Long way for an examination, I understand. Okay, and on till morning. Monitor, a patient is collapsing. Okay, John Foster, where are you? You're in, you're, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're, 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 there's something wrong with your foot. You're going to be fine. Okay. Next day, please. Okay. I don't need to know the long wait to the examination. I'm still working on that part. This hospital is still being worked upon. Ugh. 
Oh, blood trans blood transfusion? Okay, so wait, that's our lab. Is our lab getting packed? I mean, it is also the middle of the night. Um, so I might not have this, the right number of staff here. Okay, come on. Straight out till morning. All right. And it is the uh, abdominal palpitation has occurred. Okay, let's take a look at where this person is. They are in our uh, ICU, in our emergency department on the second, on the first floor here. And they're waiting for a palpitation, which is taking a long time, which means they're waiting for a doctor. And uh, it is the... So we just don't have enough doctors during the day? During the night, I guess? Do we not have any night doctors? We have one night doctor. I think it's time for another night doctor. Acute Medicine 31, 34, and 92, Joseph Adams. What do you got for hidden stuff, though? You are depressed. Let's hire a depressed person because, you know, you want to respect everybody. Even if they've just had a kid or if they're depressed. we got to start hiring more openly and see if we can't make a hospital with, yeah, maybe a couple of depressed doctors, maybe a couple of doctors falling asleep on the job. Uh, and killing people. But hey, at least we're getting... The most important thing is is that the hospital trucks are rolling in with customers, with injury customers, and we are treating them to the best of our abilities. So we're going to have a couple of weird doctors, but it's just important that we, you know, hire equally. All right, so we've dropped a person. Oh, no, that person left. I understand. So our trauma ward is staying at about one to two beds full at a time. Sometimes, like right now, it's probably going to pack up to three. Uh, but it's the day is about to start here. And the day is... Okay. We're waiting for the day to start here. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now that you have things running at night, it actually does take a while to just, like, get through to the morning when you have most of your staff on, and you can really see if your hospital is ticking. All right, so we have three people waiting in trauma. They're just lying on top of the bed, in their full, their clothes, their suits. These two have the same outfit. <laughs> the real question is, what happens when... Okay, we got people leaving. We got to work on our response times for sure. Cardiology is fine. Oh, yeah, we don't have hospitalization open on cardiology yet. We've still got a ways to go before that's fully open. But it is looking nice. Uh, it is, it's definitely coming along. We need our nurses and doctors in. Once they're in, this whole thing is humming. And so that's going to be the next episode. Uh, but as you can see, we get things rolling. Once the day staff is here, boom, all the beds are empty. And they've moved people to the correct, uh, areas. Um, I'm seeing a rolling surgery. I'm still not seeing two surgeries at the same time. So that's definitely something that I want to see, uh, happening. And once we get cardiology fully open... Uh, we're going to get to redesign the first floor, and hopefully all of these constant messages are going to start to go away as we can get on top of these poor, poor injured people. How many people are waiting here? I don't really say. That's, I think it's because it lists it here. One, oh, three. We need three. Okay, this lab needs to get much bigger, and it needs more tables and less just random crap lying around. We need, like, two times the doctors in here. Okay, it's clear to me at the end of this episode that the uh, di the uh, medical laboratories is kind of our choke point a little bit here. And obviously opening hospitalization will be needed here. Oh, it looks like all our beds are full again. Oh no. Oh no. That's so many full. We got lots of empty ones in the regular ward. Can we not move people to regular ward? You know what I could do is upgrade this to advanced. All you need to do is re-tile the room and uh, chain, and then add some more of some of the bells and whistles that they need for HDU. That's actually probably a good idea. Let's turn this into HDU. And then let's save some more lives. Thanks for watching Solid Content. I hope you are looking forward to the next video when we improve even further the look of our hospital. But now we have oh, people dying left, right, and center. Okay, it doesn't need to be going this fast right now. <laughs> But we're going to see, yeah, we're just going to see what we get up to in the next episode here, because this is starting to look pretty good. Uh, this maybe should be, should pull this forward or just like put the wall across here. I'm not sure if we're going to use that space. But this is a bulky looking hospital, and it certainly is coming along. It's getting a lot better. Pay no attention to all the red alarms you see down here. <laughs>
All right. We will see you in the next episode of Solid Content Saves the World. <laughs> <laughs>